Hello, everybody, and welcome back to City Skylines in the district of Bastion. Right? Yeah. Um, where's where's the name for it? I just realized that. Where where did the name go? Cause this is a district. Um. Oh wait, there it is. It's under the ground. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Anywho, um. So I did find out what was causing the roads to break, and that it was that network extension actually wasn't completely updated. There is a new version, and in which is kind of complicated to get working, because you have to unsub unsub everything, and then sub to that. Um, well, not everything. Um, are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have a little fire going on. Um, over here, which isn't going to bother anyone. Um, but you have to uninstall or unsub to the old network extension, obviously, but then you have to unsub to Traffic Plus Plus as well, which hasn't really been updated anyway, so, but anywho, so, how are we doing with water? Because I keep on seeing water pop up here and there, but, oh wait, is this still destroyed? Okay, so I can show off how you repair this how you would normally repair this. You'd basically just go to the normal road and upgrade it, just like that, and it's all good. So, anywho, um. A forest fire is raging in the area. Yeah. <laughs> yes, somewhere where no one exists. <laughs> um, that's right, I built this so that I could have uh, the station hooked up to it right there. Um, it is actually jumping the road. That's interesting. Um, that's good to know, too. Um, I do want to build this out, but, um, I need to know the direction that the waves come in more precisely so that I can build an adequate, uh, defense for it because, <laughs> uh, it's bad. And this has actually backed off quite a bit since we're not actually pumping water into it. Actually, to such a degree that there's actually sandbanks here and there. Um, but what are we going to do today? We need more people. That's that's uh, a given. So I think, actually, we will head back to downtown here. We'll actually upgrade. I'm going to make my own parks here in a little bit once I have the time. Um, but we are going to upgrade all of the middle here to high rise. So, and that should be simple because everything should kind of delete, um, as it should to let high rises in. So we do need more industry, which if we come back up here... We can throw in some more offices, and I will throw in some actual bigger industry, but for the time being, um, not yet, kind of thing. <laughs> um, other parks? Oh. And then there's the plazas. Okay. Um... And this is one of the reasons why I want to make my own par parks here. I need a one by three. Something fierce. I, I just need... Okay, that's a two. Actually, yeah. And then this one is a two. Because I, I really want to be able to put stuff in here that I don't have to use anarchy for. So, And that would be part of city planning is that you would have parks that fit your needs. Or that fits your needs. Oop. Um, yeah. So there's one in between right there. And one in between right there. And that is a lot of industry. So that should build up pretty good and pretty quick. So. Um. I do like how this... Oh, gosh. There's parks missing. Um. Probably from the last flooding. So. 
Um, I would think that that would go there and that that would go there. We just don't have a building in that spot. That's what it is. Right? Because that is zoned, isn't it? It is. With high rise. Oh. Oh. Why, hello here. I missed you. There we go. Now, a uh, house should rebuild the right there. Um, And now with all the parks back in, some of the other places are upgrading. Good, good. Um, that is not how that should be. Should be like that. We could actually put some small parks on the end here. So just some itty bitty ones. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. And the thunderstorm warnings. Um, but again, these. Why are why were those zoned like that? That's weird. Although I do kind of like the tiered look. Is it like that over here? No, because this one built up correctly. Uh. Oh well, it, it gives it some character that makes it so that not all the buildings are the same. Um, You are under construction. Oh, you're being built up. Okay. Uh, you are max. You are max. You are max. Okay, that's very good. Uh, let's look at the natural resources, because, like I said, I did want to make some stuff. Um, hmm. We could have some timbering here and there, but the real issue is, is the floods. All of here, over here, floods, so we don't really want to put it over here. I was thinking over here, but... That's why we have these walls, is so that over here doesn't get hit like that. Um, there was some agricultural over here, though. We could do some of that, just extend this road out. Because up here does get hit, but since it's on a hill, it, uh, it actually kind of goes away pretty quick. I guess it would be the correct way of saying that. Um... Hmm. Oh, wow. Forestry is really huge right there. Um. Again, I want to know. I want to know. My lovely. No, just kidding. Um. Well, not just kidding. It's, that's a decent song, but we could put forestry all in there. We could have houses over here and houses over here and just have a big forestry right there. I like that idea. But again, we need to see where the... Oh, turn the angry bird off. Um, <laughs> uh, we need to see where those floods come in from again to be able to do that appropriately. Um, but you know what we can do? Oh, did I do threes over here too? Yeah, I did. Uh, okay, turn the angry bird back on. Uh, there, there. Let's start parking up over here. Let's get this industry loving where they are. Um. Nope, nope. Um. Move. Over. No! <laughs> it destroyed it. It's alright, we have a need for industry, so something will replace it pretty much immediately, I'm guessing. Um. I'm going to get rid of you, because I want something bigger. Um, I missed a spot, apparently, and so it did not grow how it was supposed to. Um, but yeah, maybe that will be my goal today, is to try to make some assets in which are actually a lot more cooperative for rainfall. So, that allow this little gap in between. So... So that you can have like one by twos, one by threes, one by fours, um, one by eights, so it can go across the entire thing if you want to want it to. 
Um, this is what we wanted, actually. Um, and we have, now have trains so that we can connect the two sides. Uh, so let's finish parking up the industrial sector. And that looks like it had an issue that we need to fix. It did. See, I don't, like, I'm not sure what is doing it. And it must be a mod because I don't ever remember it happening in the vanilla game. But some mod is actually, or I'm guessing a mod, is auto-zoning areas, or dezoning, auto-zoning slash dezoning some areas, so. And I think that's what caused the uh, high-rise glitch in Bastion City, but I don't know. Anywho, that's all set up. Um, we do need more industry even than that, but since those are upgrading, that should help, I would think. Okay, so we just got the next level. Let's, uh, Umber Bay policies. Let's see, planning, high tech housing, big and small business, um, boosts. Um,. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> um, okay, but that should make people happier if I can readjust my camera. Um, the high-tech housing should boost it a little. Hmm. They're not very high level. That's weird. Maybe it's still building up. Ah, there's the name. Policies, big, small, industrial. Because we do have some offices up there. And in fact, I'm kind of thinking of putting offices. Why are these getting destroyed? These are randomly getting destroyed, aren't they? Or is that just me? Because I could have swore those were not damaged. Am I getting roads are just getting damaged naturally? Um, do I need road maintenance? Do I actually need road maintenance? Because I saw that the other day. And I was like, well, I don't need road maintenance, right? But... No, because the main streets that are getting destroyed were ones that were in the path of the tornado, too. Or that were falling apart again. So, hmm. I don't know. The foggy residents. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Um, I guess it is quicker just to go around that way. Wait. wait. Why are some people going all the way up there, going around and joining like that, rather than just getting off over here? That's interesting. Um, actually, you know what would fix that? Um, sp speed limits. Um, 10 on those. That these uh, crossways are 10 miles per hour, so... Um, that way no one uses them for that unless it is legitimately the best way to do it. So, then I think I had one more done here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, dang it. <laughs> I was even thinking I need to click it to turn it off. Otherwise, I'm going to get the main menu again. Yep, I forgot. <laughs> um... That connects through, right? Um, that. And down, 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 down. It does. Okay. Actually, while we're down here, let's get rid of the... Okay. Oh, wait. Haha. -ha! There we go. You can turn it off from above. Uh, go away, angry bird. Um... Yeah, so that should have helped the um, high-tech housing. 
as well as the office buildings. Man, all these office buildings look actually pretty awesome. Um, we do need more industrial, and we're getting some commercial needs. Um, hmm. But right now, our biggest is industrial. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I really do want to build up this, but if we build this up, and then a um, tidal wave comes... Man, we're gonna. It's just, this entire area is gonna get wrecked because it is always flooded for days. So, um, but yeah, uh, let's look at the topography over here actually. Um, it looks like it actually gets very shallow out here. That there are some bumps and dips and stuff, but it's actually very shallow. So, what I'm thinking is that I would, like, take, um, f click primary mouse button to choose a height. Click and drag with the secondary mouse button to paint the area you wish. Meteorologist um, a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Because I know it comes from this direction. And I think, like, this way? Kind of thing. Almost straight at Bastion, but not quite. So, I'm trying to think. Actually, you know what? Let's fix this sinkhole. Um... Also, I'll be able to see how I use this. Yeah, there we go. Um, also, this will use a lot of soil, though. <laughs> but it allowed me to see how I use the tool. So that's good. Um... Because I forgot. <laughs> All of uh, Rockdale was pretty much... Had had to have these tools used to get it to where it got to. And here I am forgetting how to use them. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, kind of flooded the area for a second. But that's fine. It will pass. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll pass. So... Um, but anywho, gosh, my indecision is just killing me here. Did I get another zone? I did not. So I got to increase the population with what I have right here. Actually, I should probably just make like huge walls just like that. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do because there's not really much else I can do. Um, yeah, let's have it, like, right there. Let's try to plan this out. Um. So we just want, like, it to kind of follow the coast. And it kind of needs to be out of the water. Um, because the idea is that this is going to protect the coastline. So, a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. and I am going. I will leave like cuts in the terrain a little. Okay, I kind of see where I've been building it now, so I should be able to build it a lot better. But yeah, I'll leave cuts in the in the wall that are kind of separated. That way there's still like water in here that is flowing kind of naturally. And if the wave does get over the wall, it does not choose a less than ideal direction to leave or for all the water to leave in. Um, this is like agonizingly slow. Holy cow. Is that at least out of the water? I think it is just out of the water, which is fine because that's 
actually what how we wanted it. Um, actually, I think like that, and then I'll have this kind of come out, and then we'll have like a cut right here. So, and this is pushing the water around a little. So it might be underwater at first, especially since it's so close to being at water level. Um, but yeah, just like that. Um, then more right here. Have it pop up right there. And we'll have it go down to about right here. But yeah, so this'll, and I wanna put this in first because uh, I don't wanna put the city in and then suddenly a tidal wave comes through and wrecks it before I can get the walls up, so. But it does seem like we might need some more soil from somewhere. So that might be an issue. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. Yeah, these storms. Also, there was mention that it might be a bug too that um manually trigger triggering a storm that is over 2.0 could fix it um actually can we can we actually we can actually okay let's just do that meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days citizens are advised to stay indoors okay so hopefully hopefully that will cause uh I actually like the concept that these are straight, too, because then I don't have to bend stuff. Um, but anyways, so that way it will kill the 1.0 thunderstorm that keeps on being just a bug. So, but yeah, this kind of kills the view from the uh, ocean side. But I would rather my view killed than me killed. <laughs> you could say. Um, or my citizens for that matter in this case. But yeah, so basically what I'm going to do is that it's not just going to be like these little sandbars. It is actually going to be... Um, there are going to actually be uh, those flood walls on top of these. So, um, and I actually might put uh, K's or keys around them to, to kind of solidify that, hey, this is a block structure um, that is meant to repel water. But... Let's ensure that this is all up to snuff. Snarf, snarf, lion -o. <laughs> One of the most irritating characters of that show. Um. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning. For and that made it start to Citizens rain. Are advised to stay indoors. Um, yeah, so we created a 5.5, so that should be strong enough to kick the 1.0 bug. But there's no saying that that bug can't come back either. So, oh, gosh. <laughs> yep, just interrupt me from me doing um, landscaping work. Um... Now, I do have to remember that water physics act um, very uniquely that it can actually go around items. 
So like it hits this wall and it will still flood in that way. But the likelihood of that, of it being, it's not going to be as severe when it does that. Because then if you take the concept of uh, wave mechanics in general, it will get weaker, but still. We're going to need a lot of soil though. Because I want to put up like three, four walls out here. And very close to each other too, so it's, um, yeah, but, um, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this too, especially if I want to put the K's in, or the keys, K's, however you pronounce it, it's a Q. But yeah, so just a thunderstorm out in the middle of the water. We get some heavy rain, which rainfall plays off of very nicely um this takes forever anywho it's almost done almost almost there we are jelly good <laughs> family guy reference right there Okay, um... Oh gosh, that's a huge zone though. Oh, it's burning this forest again. It just regrown. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well... Um, and I think I'm gonna bend it back in here because I don't really need it that far out into the water. In fact, I might switch the sides and put a one of the walls on the inside of this rather so it's just down to like right here cuz i don't want to mess up mess with the uh, fluid mechanics either of how the water goes around the bay as as well over here so come on come on you can do it you can do it little one come on Jurassic Park. I don't think I quoted that correctly, though. So. But anywho, water. Lots of it. Um, To be fair, though, to make like little islands like this, it would take more than soil, because soil will just wash away. Um, it would actually take um, significant amounts of stone and rock and then to weather the sides so that the soil in the middle does it holy cow i've never seen it rain this hard um we should actually go to the city and see how that's affecting it so that we can uh um adequately um fix it what why are you guys having issues sewage is backed up um, oh gosh, everyone's sewage is backed up. Is it because this is flooded? Oh no, there's no power over here. What? Why is there no power over here? Seriously? Uh, there we go. So when they get power, they turn off. <laughs> that makes sense. No, it doesn't. Not at all. Um, <laughs> anywho, there we go. So everybody should be happy now in terms of the sewage. Um, gosh, that is a lot of water. A lot of water. Holy cow, that's a lot of water. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, that is okay. Meteorologists are um, a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay. In so, let's see. I have these around somewhere, right? What? Okay, my UI is not actually working. Because it should be showing where I have drains already, and it's not. Okay, so it's working for these, but not these ones. Um, I'll have to tell Yen Yang about that. Um... 
So I have those there, and they're working nicely, but maybe more over here. Maybe that will reduce how much water is actually flowing down there. Maybe I might just need one over there. But oh gosh, dang it! And that that but that looks like it's the end of the episode. And the water actually the rain actually died off quite a bit. Uh, there's some flooding up here, but eh. in the park, so it's fine. Um. And right there, I could probably use some water services right there. But anywho, I'll get to that in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'm hoping you're enjoying the episode. If you are, please do leave a like and do subscribe to catch the next episode as it comes out. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section below. And I'll get back to you guys as quick as I can. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. And have a good one. Goodbye.